of Reach LA is to educate, motivate, and mobilize young people to take care of themselves and their community. Self-education and self-realization and self-empowerment uh, when young people, to get them to feel good about themselves and their peers, that we use that as an opportunity to educate their peers, um, and we also use that as a way to mobilize young people to get involved and get active within their community. Well, Openness actually is, is an interesting program. Um, it stands for the state of having reached over the top to achieve greatness and simply to be over. So a lot of people don't realize that unless you have something to strive for, you won't have nothing to really try for. <laughs> Dealing with disappointment, it also turns into... The leadership program allows youth to not only learn to, um, to lead themselves, but lead others in the community. So they become educated and empowered to where they can then go out into the community and actually reach the same population that they're a part of. And with, that comes from education, telling their friends about how to get tested, where to go to get tested, um, HIV education, information, about how to do job building, resume building. We come in here and have group discussions so they know the issues and topics that truly affect them as a community, so they understand how to find solutions as to how to get through those particular things, those, those things that they might find to be oppressive or, or find to be challenges in their lives. Openness is a lot of different things. We consider it to be a lifestyle, not just a program. And we know that through this lifestyle or this program, we are able to make sure that people are maintaining a healthier lifestyle for a longer amount of time. The reason why the openness ball is a key component is because we reach out to the house and ball community, which is an underserved population that a lot of people have been afraid to reach. Within the openness ball, what we do is um, we make sure that we incorporate HIV prevention categories. So with the categories, we actually make sure that they are being educated by actually bringing it a certain way. Create your own Viva Glam campaign ad with your own safer sex pulse, print it on the back, Bring it to the runway with ad in hand. So one of the categories might say, bring us the five bodily fluids that can in infect you with HIV or transmit HIV. And they have to not only research it as individuals, but they'll bring it in a creative way to present it to the audience. It's one of the most highly anticipated events we do every year. Um, we've, been, we've done five, and we're looking forward to doing much more. Okay, so before we start our discussion, I have to let you know everything in here is strictly confidential. Reach LA offers a rapid HIV testing, which means you can come in and you can consent to a con confidential HIV testing, which means that you get tested here, we'll provide you with a test result, and if your test comes back preliminary positive, we'll connect you with resources and other places where it can help you get free treatment if you qualify, can help you get with other resources in the community if you come back with a preliminary positive. But if you come back negative, you get a free movie ticket and you go about your way and you can come back again and get tested as much as you want. The counseling experience at Reach LA is awesome to me because it lets me not only be able to help somebody out in their own personal individual life, but it helps me impact people and, and educate people with tools to help their peers that might not come to Reach LA and seek counseling or might not go to another organization and seek counseling. So we educate and we give them tools to help people outside of the four walls here at Reach LA. It's all confidential. Your friends won't ever know, your mom won't ever know, and nobody will never know. Against any HIVs or STDs, um, we're using you on oral sex, so you should be able to still. Uh... So I'm involved in peer health. I'm a peer health advocate or educator, and so basically what I what I do, and I'm with 15 other, um, you know, teenagers or early 20 year olds who go out into the community, and we have different outreach programs, but also we go um, through our own group of friends, and we try and raise awareness about um, sexually transmitted infections, HIV, AIDS. Um, we, we basically want to educate the youth about. Um, how it's transmitted and like maybe how to protect yourself, um, different types of birth control. But we also want to bring them in to get tested, to know their status, um, you know, just to be empowered about their sexual health. Great. Okay. Okay, let's cool. try it again. Well, G2G was meant for girls, um, I believe it's 16 to 24. 
So kind of, you know, late, mid to late high school to early to the end of college age range. Mm -hmm. And um, mostly for girls of color who um, were interested in learning more about uh, re reproductive rights, reproductive justice. Giving young women um, the opportunity to get involved in, in policy and recognize the things that are going on locally, not only in their communities, but also um, on a state and local government level, and teach them how to advocate for themselves on a policy level. Um, we started out um, with intensive training for the first few weeks on the basic principles of reproductive justice, uh, what that means. Um, we did um, a reproductive health uh, training for all of the girls, like basic anatomy, um, STDs, um, safer sex practices, how to put on condoms, dental dam usages, like all of those basic kind of reproductive health um, issues we covered in a kind of intensive, like three week program. We kind of merged it into what's called Cali body politics so that girls all over the state of California can kind of more in a social networking kind of way learn about the things that we were doing in G2G. Um, we've been to the, the Muslim orphanage that um, it was from the, actually the regular The Global Exchange Program is a six month intensive program an exchange, a six month intensive exchange program between two countries, South Africa and Northern Ireland. We volunteered, we did lots of community work, on the ground work, you know, working with the people, you know, experiencing all the culture. We did lots of events, um, conferences, activities with children, um, teens, and young adults. Like Lance was working at the Muslim Youth Center. The whole thing was, the whole thing so was awesome. such a blast. Uh, so fun. Every minute of it. There's some days where I was like, nah, I'm, I'm done, send me home. But no, it was so fun. I, the experience was really foreign, but it was really cultural and hands on and awesome. And that is what I'll never forget that ever. <laughs> yeah. The Social Enterprise Program was a program that was actually created to help with the sustainability of the organization. One of the things that we do is we actually produce events that incentivize young people to get tested for HIV and AIDS. The other thing that we actually do is we do um, promotional products uh, to sell at different conferences. We've done t-shirts, we've done hoodies, we've done wallets, we've done backpacks. Um, we do a lot of different things that actually, and we also use those as incentives um, for the young people in our programs. A lot of times kids don't just want a Target card or a movie ticket, they want something that's original, something that's cool, something that's fashionable, and those are the types of products that we do. Reach LA is different for three things. One, because it really is about the youth. Two, because our, the youth opinion really matters. And three is because it's really about the youth again. Like this is one place that doesn't say, oh, this is about the youth. And then when you get there, it's not really about the youth. Reach LA is really a youth-based organization. Youth being the key word in the sentence. and. It's one of the things I love them for. I used to always joke that that uh, I have the best job ever because all we do is eat and talk about sex. But I mean, it's true having these deep conversations that folks can't have with with other people. You know, being asked questions that to a lot of people, you know, seems like like uh, something that you would have already learned. But sometimes people don't get that. Wow, it's like. You know how you, it's like how you wake up in the morning and you look forward to your day. And I think without Reach LA, a lot of things that I've accomplished wouldn't have happened. You know, the counseling that I've gotten, the support from my peers, I haven't found it nowhere else. And I mean, I've been here a short time and as many people I've been through in life and came across, I feel more at home here than I've been anywhere work at my own home, even at church, I feel real comfortable here and being myself and getting stuff learned and not afraid to ask questions. Mm. We take the time to build the relationship with individuals. We don't just look at it as a number or as, as a quota to meet for our, our monthly report. We make sure that these, these lives are really impacted and changed because we know that when they leave this ball or they leave our organization, they have to survive and they have to know how to maintain on their own.